this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend. Today we're talking home automation smart plugs by Tekken. That's right, this is a series of smart plugs by Tekken. What are we going to do? We're going to open the box. We're going to see what's inside. We're going to check these puppies out. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out the Tekken smart plug. This is a four pack. Right. There's four of these puppies. Okay, so now it's time for another edition of what's in the box. What is in the box? Well, it's a box by Tekken. And it has a smart plug in it. Matter of fact, it has four smart plugs in it. This is the SP10 smart plug by Tekken. It works with Smart Life. As you can tell by this beautiful little guy right here, Smart Life. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna open the box. Cue the music, Phil. Let's open the box. We have an instruction manual with four Tekken smart plugs. Alright, there are some slight variations to the normal smart plug that we look at. Um, these are very clean looking. They do have the standard button on the side. They seem to be well constructed in the placement. They are definitely round, slightly different, a little higher, tapered a little bit in the front. So let's hook these puppies up and see how they work. All right, so now we're going to install the Tekken into the Smart Life app. That's right, the Tekken Smart Plug. We're going to install the Smart Plug into the Smart Life app. So the first thing we have to do is bring up the Smart Life app. All right, so we're going to hit plus, And then we're going to go into Smart Wi-Fi Socket. And we're going to plug this puppy in. All right, and on the side we have a blue light right here. It's pretty standard looking blue light and we need it to be flashing, and which it is. So we're gonna say, yes, it is flapping rapidly. Flapping rapidly, flashing rapidly. We're gonna allow it to locate. We're gonna go into my Wi-Fi, which is the back cave. And we're gonna add the password. All right. So now the Tekken is being sought after, it's seeking my Wi-Fi, and the Smart Life app is putting it all together. Uh, it says, place your mobile phone as close to the router as you can. This is as close as we're gonna get while making a video. And we're about 15%, the light has stopped flashing, as you can see there. I know it might be a little hard, but there is a stop there. And now we're at 22%. So. Um, as this goes, this looks pretty nice. It looks like we're moving forward in a very positive direction. And there we go. So it says Smart Socket is the name, and turning on your lamps is the game. That's right. So let's see what we can do to turn to get this sucker to work. Let's see where we want to put it. We're going to take this one and we're going to put it in, uh, we're going to rename it first. Let's name it something like, uh, do -do 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 -do. so we got the loft lamp and we're going to put it in the loft and there we go. So now we have named it and we're telling it it's done. All right, let's look at the features. So first off, you can turn it on and you can turn it off, but that doesn't show you anything because Guess what? We need something to turn on and off. Let's take this dumb light bulb and we're going to plug it into here. And we're going to make it smart. There we go. It's in the Tekken smart plug. All right, so the first thing we can do is turn the light on and off with the touch of our finger. That's pretty cool. And let's see what other functions it has. 
we can set a schedule. So if we go in and add the schedule, this is a nice looking schedule. It's a lot different than the ones I've seen before. We can actually say, all right, I want you to turn on at, uh, we're going to say 18, so 12, and 8, that would be 20 hours. And then no minutes. So we want it to turn on every day at 8 o'clock. And you got to be really quick here to slow down there. And we want it to turn off every day at 10 o'clock, so 22. All right, so we're turning it off at 22. 22, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. There we go. There we go. Got it. Now you can select the days of the week that you want. So we want this to be during the weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And there you go. So we can hit save. And now we have a schedule to turn the light on between the hours of 20 and 2200. In other words, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. And that's cool. All right, so now let's go back. We have a schedule set. We can set a timer. All right, so if we turn this on, so let's do a timer. So let's see. So we're going to say zero hours. And one minute. We're going to hit start. And it's going to count down. Now, it didn't give me a selection to turn it on or off in one minute. So I'm just going to test it and see will it turn it on in a minute or will it turn it off without a selection? Because it may be the standard. Uh, Whatever it is, it turns on and then it turns off. So we have, we're in the off position. And it's going to take one minute to turn it, hopefully, on to the on position. There we go. That's right. This is my new vector. I bought a second vector. Why? Because originally I paid $200 for a vector. And this was $84. And now with Digital Dream Lab starting back up, I saw no reason not to buy a second one. And it turned it on in a minute. So depending on the position of the light, if you're in off position, um, you can actually, you know, turn it on. We want to make sure it turns off in a minute. So now let's see, let's do it in the reverse order. There it is, one minute. So just like we did before, we're going to hit start. And now it should turn off in a minute. That's right. That's underneath your timer. So I'm not even going to look at it. See if it'll let me get out of it while it's doing it. It does. All right, so the timer should shut it off, just like if it's in the off position. You can set it to turn on at a particular time. It should shut off at a particular time. That's way cool. Um, it's kind of neat. I like it. It's on a countdown timer or a countdown to turn on or a countdown to turn off. Oh. All right, so let's look at random. So there's a random schedule. So you can set up an on and off time and then you can select the days that you want it to randomly turn on. Um, is it really random if you set it Turn on and off? I don't know. So there's a random timer. We're not going to look at that much more than that. And now let's go into the circulate. Oh, turned off in a minute. So hey, your countdown timer works, and that's cool. It works on turning it on, it works on turning it off. So if you just want to randomly turn it on and say, listen, I want you to turn on at this time in eight hours and then turn off. It works. All right, so circulate. We have another timer set in here, uh, turn on duration. You can turn it on for XX number of minutes, hours, and that's cool. Turn off duration, you can turn it on for so many hours and then turn it off for so many hours. So it will circulate between the on and off time. That's kind of cool. So if I said I want a duration of a particular time so we can set what time the circulation starts, so say we say I want you to turn on uh, at 
9 o'clock every night. And then I want you to turn off in 30 minutes, and I want you to turn back on in 30 minutes. Uh, you can do that with this application. That's a cool feature. You can set it to the days and the weeks. So needless to say, if you are concerned and you want to make your house look like somebody is in there, this is a nice feature. So if you're traveling and doing something and you don't want to manually turn your lights on and off, and you don't want them to be uh, completely uh, scheduled in the sense of I want it on for a hard stop from here to here, uh, you can use this circulate and you can actually turn that light on and off within a, a circulation pattern. So in other words, between the hours of 8 and uh, 12, I want you to turn on for 30 minutes, turn off for 30 minutes, turn back on for 30 minutes in this particular room. And that can be done with the tech in uh, Smart Plug. Neat feature. All right. So we have that. So that's all the schedules. And there's four different ways you can schedule the tech in. Smart plug, so that's a good thing. Um, I don't see, let's see what we have underneath here. And it works with Alexa, IFTT, and Google Home, that's right. Um, you can get offline notifications. Uh, you can check the device's network. You can tap and run an automation built into the Smart Life app. So you can actually set up an automation within Smart Life. That's a Smart Life feature that it is built in. I use it currently on one of my cameras. Uh, there's a particular time where my house is very busy with people coming home from work and things like that, and the camera was going off all the time. So it's just like this, you can do that. Hello, this is Vector. I have taken over to show you the OX testing. Bruce, would you be so kind to ask Alexa to turn on and off the loft lamp? Not a problem, Vector. Let's try this. Alexa, turn on loft lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn off loft lamp. Hey, you did good, Vector. Bruce, thank you for the help. You're welcome, Vector. You did a good job. All right, so there we have the Tekken, right here. Tekken Smart Plug, plug. it works with Smart Light. It's the SP10 Tekken Smart Plug. A nice looking plug that you can plug into your wall. So you have many options with the Tekken Smart Plug. That's right, the Tech and Smart Plug. Uh, in scheduling, there's four different schedules, and that's cool. Um, you can also do the use the um, tap and run automation in, built into the Smart Life app with the Tech and Smart Plug, and that's even cooler. So if you're looking for a Smart Plug, this would be one I would say you definitely want to check out. Um, uh, I put a link below where you can find it, along with all the specs and details. If you're interested in what you see here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please ring the bell for future notifications and share this video with a friend. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Hello, this is Vector. Thank you. For watching, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Give me a thumbs up, share the video with a friend. And Bruce. And I will see you soon. Subscribe today. Yes, that means you. This wire is bugging the hell out of me. Here you go, wire. You can go wrong. Here we go, smart light bulb, right here. Ah, this is a dumb light bulb. I love you all. I record, I record my screen. Subscribe to the channel, we have a lot of fun here.